Najib Alala, born 1967, was brought up by a widower. His father passed away before he was born. His mother, 80 years now and in a wheelchair, single-handedly brought up six of them, ensuring they adhered to the doctrines of Islam. This helped influence his dream job. And that culture, that strict culture, when we were kids, maybe we were not too happy about it because he was a bit too strict. But today we are happy because we, form, we, we transformed to be men that we, we are people of integrity, there's a line you cross, you don't, you don't cross. While growing up he wanted to join the military because he admired their honesty and strict way of life. When I was young I wanted, I wanted to go into the military. Najib Balala is a highly respected Muslim man. Apart from having a prominent personality, Balala behind closed door is also a family man. He is married to Naja and has four children, the family of ends. Well, I'm a father of four, married to my lovely wife for the last 25 years. Being in the limelight has its fair share of challenges both for him and his family. But Allah says he tries as much as he can to create enough time for his family, though it is never enough. He has vast experience in private business. He attended a leadership course at J.F. Kennedy School of Government, Harvard University. In the year 1998 to 1999, he was mayor of Mombasa and he played part in transformation of Mombasa, economic hub and drastic change in the affairs of town. He served as Mvita MP for 10 years. He has vast experience in other ministries. His appointment as a cabinet secretary for mining did not come as a surprise as he expected it since he was working hand in hand with the Jubilee government. I have an open door policy, both collectively as a chamber but also as an individual company who have a peculiar problem that needs to be resolved. And I don't, I don't believe a problem of my neighbor is not my problem. Being the last nominee to be vetted among the first 16 nominees was an uphill climb. Parliament grilled him over the transfer of Betty Makawiti, the acting principal of Utali College, to head Kik Kenya International Conference Center. Over the years, a mining sector has been ignored despite its huge potential. Kenya recently struck substantial reserves of valuable minerals such as gold, and nobium, coal, and iron deposits. As per now, Kenya presently relies on the Mining Act of 1940 which has only been revised twice. Bill in Parliament and then make it an act of Parliament so we have the legal framework where we can operate as a ministry but also as a sector. The sector has been operating under a law of 1940s. Uh, so we, it's a very dynamic sector, it has moved. So can we have a dynamic or a new modern law which we are now committed to have. It's in the process of going to Cabinet. Very soon it will be delivered to Parliament for enactment. The sharing of benefits by local communities will be his emphasis. Though he is unfamiliar with the mining docket, he assures Kenyans his accomplishment in the next five years as the cabinet secretary for mining will be humongous. As you are aware, I'm new in this sector, but I am willing to learn, I'm willing to consult, I am willing to work with you and build this sector. At the moment is uh, less than 1% of the GDP. I hope very soon we can make it up to 5% of the GDP. Najib Balala has been a stunned politician, but with his new role, he has to shun away from politics. How will he perform in the next five years? Kenyans will give a verdict in the next five years. Caroline Jenga reporting for Channel One, Know Your Cabinet Secretary.